right, Coach Weber here with you. Um, I'm going to go over a top series that uh, our team has had a lot of success with. Uh, it's a, it's a cross-face series, basically cross-face series. I'm going to give you a bunch of different options from a cross-face. Uh, we're here with Brandon Taylor, ex-wrestler of mine, uh, stick runner up a couple years ago at 220, and uh, he's going to help me. Hopefully, uh, he's not too big and strong for me to put some of these holds on, but uh, I'll do my best. Um, so, we're just going to start off. Go ahead, go down, Brandon. And how I like to get these guys in position to throw a cross face uh, is just from an ankle down. Okay, so off the whistle, you know, they can go outside ankle, inside ankle. It's good to have them uh, understanding how to start on both sides because typically uh, you'll get a kid that likes to throw a cross face from one side better than the other. All right, so. Boom, he might come outside ankle right here. And when we get the ankle to break him down, we want to make sure we drop our weight back. We don't want to be starting up here. If you have an ankle's all extended, okay? If I know I'm going to the ankle, boom, I'm going to drop low. I'm going to take my chin down by his hip right here. That way I can get my whole body into this and run him down, okay? And then I can also, you know, if I want to change things up, switch sides. I start on this side, go to inside ankle, boom. And I drop down, get those laces right there and I start driving. Okay, and when, uh, let's back up a little bit. When I go, you know, I, I want to be ruthless with this. Drive him down, drive him down, pin him down right there. I keep that ankle, take it up to his rear end, all the way down, okay? You want to be tough because I'm using my whole body and drive my shoulder into him, lifting this, driving it. Okay, breaking it down because, you know, he's not just going to let me do it. Um, so I got to be tough with it. and. Uh, the thing about the top position is the techniques from the top position are 100 times easier to learn than neutral position. They just, you, kids can just pick them up like that if you, if you break it down for them correctly. They can pick, you know, they can pick uh, some of these holds, these cross face series stuff up you know, a lot faster than they can get good at a high crotch or a single leg and all the finishes and the setups and all that stuff. So um, as far as I'm concerned, the biggest thing about getting good on top is being tough with it. Knowing where, where you want to get, what's your favorite stuff to work from there, and being relentless with it. Because the guy's not just going to let you do it, but you can break a guy, you can wear him out, even if you're not turning him from the top position, you can still take a toll on him mentally, all right, physically, get him wore out. Um, so <clears throat> I, I think, uh, you know, I got a lot of different series. I'm going to show you the crossface series, but. Uh, Coaches that um, ignore the top position and just play the takedown, let them up game, are really missing the boat when you're teaching high school and youth wrestlers. Really missing the boat, okay? Because you're, you're, there's so many times that uh, we've been in tight matches and we had a guy good in a position for the top position and he pins them in a tight match or blows the match wide open. Okay, so I'm a big believer in, in working the top position. All right, so first thing we do is we're going to work the ankle down, all right? Drive him down, boom, 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 getting him down here. Now, I always want to land on the same side I like to throw the, my, my cross face arm. So if I like to use my right arm to throw a cross face, I want to land on that side. I don't want to land, I don't want to land neutral. I don't want to straddle a leg. If I throw my cross face, my arm's only as long as my elbow to my fingertip. I got to get both feet out the side right here. All right, I don't want, definitely don't want to be on this side. I can't, I really can't reach. Now my arm's only as long as my wrist to my fingertips. So it's important to make sure they know what side they like to throw the cross face. Make sure they land on that side. They start properly. They start on the opposite side. They go inside ankle and all that stuff. Okay, you got to land in the right spot. Now, <clears throat> so as far as throwing the cross face, there's, a, there's an art to throwing a cross face. Okay, and... Uh, Sometimes it takes a while for the kids to, to figure it out, okay? A cross face, a good cross face guy doesn't wind up and throw it. They're going to get penalized, okay? That's, it's, and it's not, the, it's not the most effective way to throw a cross face. So when we're, we're teaching them how to throw a cross face, what I want to do, after I ankle my partner down, he's just going to kind of do a half push-up. He just starts building up for drilling purposes, okay? And here's how you throw the cross face. The whole objective to the cross face is not to bloody his nose or something like that. The whole objective to the cross face is to get him on this side. Okay, so we've ankled him down. And my hand's going to come straight from that ankle, 
All right, right to here, I'm going to pop. All right, I want to pop that arm forward as far as I can. Boom. I want to get it as close as possible. All right, and then when I throw my cross faces right here, I don't have to wind up. I'm not trying to get all the way over there by going, ah, like that. Okay, refs don't like that stuff. So I want to pop this hard, bump it forward. And when I throw it, I catch pinky right above the elbow. That's going to give me the most leverage. I don't want to come up here. All right, I want pinky right here above the elbow. All right, now what I'm going to do, now my objective is to get him on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on my toes, and I'm going to take my head over top, and I'm going to throw a punch with my shoulder. As I throw a punch with my shoulder, I'm going to straighten my arm out. So I'm coming over top, and I'm going to throw a punch with my elbow, or my shoulder, right there. I got, I got his elbow, I'm straightening that, I'm extending that, and I'm coming over top, boom. I'm going to knock him on his side with that. I'm using my whole body to push him up and over. Okay, so I pop the elbow. I catch this thing right here. Now I'm coming up, up and over top, knock him on his side. <clears throat> right there. See that? I punch the shoulder. I straighten that arm out. Right there, I take my head over top. Okay? Now, look where he's at. He's on his side. Turn this way. He's on his side, okay? <clears throat> I'm almost there. But a good guy... It's not just going to stay here. You know, he's going to be fighting. He's, first thing he's going to try to do is he's going to try to belly down. Right there. So, I get my cross face, I knock him over, and i got to have a real sense of urgency to drop my chest back. Okay? And I tell the kids to choke themselves. Okay? So, I'll show you what I mean. Pop! Boom! Catch the elbow. Alright? I knock him over, I straighten that arm out, throw the punch with the shoulder, head over top, boom! Knock him here. Alright? And then I drop back. And I say choke, so you're not really choking yourself. It's just a, it's just a measuring step. All right, I drop back right there. Put my throat on his, put my throat back. Okay, so I throw it right there, and the chest is under his chest. All right, and I'm going to keep him. Now my whole body is keeping him on his side. But you got to be quick with this. You knock him over, boom, drop back quick. Okay, drop back quick. Now, first thing I'm going to look for in this series, always go to this if you can get it, because it's the easiest pin in the book, high school, middle school, you know, all youth wrestlers is the barbed wire. Always look for this first. Don't get fancy, try something else. Always look for this first. So boom, I've anchored it down, I pop, I catch it, knock him over, drop back. Now I'm just gonna double up, right here, both hands on his tricep, get on my toes, turn this one, Taylor. And I'm gonna walk around. And now this is a mistake guys will do. You wanna end up chest to chest, I'm gonna come all the way from this side, my feet are gonna be over here, and I want to be chest up on top. So when a lot of kids try learning it, they keep their head down by the hip right here. They do this. And they don't have, they don't have any pressure. And the guy gets on it. Yeah, boom, he fights on So I just got to make sure as I run around front, my head comes up on top so my chest can come up on top. So I've doubled up on it. I start running it and my head just comes up on top right there. I keep it bundled up chest to chest. Okay. Ideally, that I keep hand, both hands on it. Uh, you gotta keep one hand on at least, all right. But well, you just bundle or you just barbed wire his arms up, end up chest to chest, and typically that's a pretty easy pin, all right. But I want to go all the way around too. You'll get kids, go down, you'll get guys that will want to just maybe go this far, and then they just try to get the pin. Keep going, bundle those arms up as far as possible. Get your feet all the way over there. Okay, so it's ankle them down. Partner being a good partner, he just trying to build up, pop, throw the cross face, okay? And then you look for the barbed wire. Uh, drop back, get your chest underneath him, run the barbed wire, okay? Second option. Second option is I get him down, I ankle him down, I throw the cross face, I go for the barbed wire, and first thing he does is he buries his side, brings his knee up, okay? So I've ankled him down, Boom, I threw the cross, and he's knocked him over, I got this. All right, right away, he's going to shoulder down, bring that knee up. Yep, right in there. All right, so what I want to do here is that my right hand's going to stay on that tricep, and I'm going to post, post behind his knee. I'm not grabbing it, trying to bring it in. I'm just going to post, or I'm going to plant my weight right behind his knee so he can't move that back any further. So I'm posting. Now, what I want to do, turn this way. Once I post it, 
And uh, this is where kids mess up, especially because they drill it all the time because their partner's just going to let them go and get that cradle. All right, but you're not going to get a tough match. I post, I turn my left hip down here, and I step up, up here, by his head. All right? And I push with my arm, I lift with this leg right here, and I'm going to lift and spike. I lift, spike him down. All right? Just doing that post. Turn this way. So I get that post, and I keep doing this until I make him kiss his knee or come really close. All right? Then I grab my own wrist. Never, ever, ever let go of the tricep. Always keep the tricep. Grab your own wrist. Now from here, I got to switch hips. Now I come around, lean towards my right hip. Pull him back on my knee right here underneath. Okay, and the first thing I have to do when we're drilling this is I have him clamp down on this other leg. Boom, like that. Because you're gonna get guys that are just freaking out, kicking right here. And you want to take the steam on them. So, bam, clamp down. One, two, three, four, five. I got my backs. I've taken the steam out of them. Now I release the leg and I just come knee in the side, head in the side. And typically, if I'm not getting a pin yet, because the inside shoulder is not up, so I straighten my arms out, try to drop that shoulder. And then there's a last resort, we still can't get it. You can even come up here. And do one of these, okay? <clears throat> Biggest things there are getting your guys tough with lift and post, or lift and spike, lift and spike, all right? Not just doing this, because they're not going to get good guys just doing, doing the old peck fly thing right here, okay? You got to get now, you got to use your whole body, lifting with your hip, boom, lift and lift and lift and lift and bring them all the way in, grab the wrist, load them up, okay? So that's our second option. So second option, always look to the barbed wire. Don't get the barbed wire, get the cross face cradle from the belt. Okay? And then, third option, <clears throat> oh, I'll face this way. I ankle him down, boom, boom, boom. Right there, I come up, I throw my cross face, knock him over. I come back, I, I, go, for the, I go for the barbed wire here. All right? And let's say I start running it. Let's move back a little. Say I start running and I come out in front and he's just tough. I can't, I can't turn him over. I can't turn him over. He brings that, he brings this knee up over here, okay, and I just can't run that barbed wire. And then maybe I come back and I look for the cradle and he straightens his leg out. I just tough him in. Okay, so but I've got the I've got the arms bundle. Got the arms bundle right here. So I start coming out front. Alright, right in there. He's tough, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't get it. Alright, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a pancake. And a couple things gotta happen here. This way. Okay, he's fighting. He's going to give me the bar wire. I'm going to take it. I can't get it. I can't get it. So I'm going to post this knee right down by the shoulder. Okay, I got to have a post here. All right, and then this hand is going to release the tricep and it's going to hook right here in his armpit. Right in there. All right, so I'm going for the bundle or the bar wire right in here. Post, hook. All right, and then this leg is going to step up. And I'm going to lift this hook, my leg right here, and I'm just going to boom, take him across. Just, I got my post under me. I got a power. If I got my legs out here, I can't lift him up. So I post this, I post this, I got this hook, got the cross face, and I lift. And I just like arm rest, just boom, take it down, cover. All right. So one more time. I ankle it down. Boom, goes up, throw the cross face, knock him over, drop back, I, look, I get this right here, he's fighting, he's fighting, can't get it, can't get it, he's got that left knee up, way up there, can't get it, post, typically what's going to happen is he's got this knee up, this hip's really down, all right, post, hook, hook, right here, step up, lift, boom, take him down, and I, and I go for the pin right here, hold him, all right, so 